we have arrived. This is Loch Ness. Loch Ness. Got told off last time I came to Scotland for saying it wrong, and quite rightly so. Uh, there it is. Look at that. Fantastic. Got his, he's got his Genoa out. Oh, it's the wind. It's on the beam. <laughs> Might make a difference. That's right. the engine now yeah turn it off and see see if we can keep up which I doubt to be honest but it's like quite a big sail he's got there now we caught you up and now we're having a race <laughs> it's beautiful isn't it I got some lovely shots of your boat. Really? <laughs> no, me neither. Best feeling in the world. The thing about Scotland, I found on the couple of visits I had in the last 30, 30 odd years, well three visits in the last 30 years, is that it, it's such a huge country, everything has this scale to it that makes you feel small and it's, and it's beautiful, it, there's so much to look at as you're going along, everything changes from minute to minute, I love it here, absolutely love it here. I don't know what it's like when when it's like it is in, in Cornwall in the winter and the wind's just howling and the rain's just going sideways so hard that it's not actually hitting the ground, you know, it's just hitting you in the face. That's not quite so much fun. But I gotta be honest, I didn't expect a day like this today. It's it's just completely stunning. 
and we're on our way to Castle Urquhart which is down here somewhere on the right hand side and then we're gonna anchor up and maybe have a little look around the castle or I don't know I feel a glass of wine coming on this afternoon possibly with our new friends who are beating us hands down they're away look at that we are losing so we're uh, a little way down through Loch Ness at the moment that's where we started out at the other end and we're just sailing with the headsail out it's absolutely lovely no noise no waves going with the wind so it's not the fastest point of sail but it's very relaxing and we are in 457 feet of water which when you're only that far away from the edge it's about half a mile I suppose across there is it? I don't know not even that and uh, it's very deep the question is is there anything at the bottom of it? is there a monster? I don't know well, last time we came here, we stayed in uh, in that hotel, and they've got a got a Loch Ness monster in the uh, in the car park. Big, uh, I think it's a stone thing. I'm not sure. <coughs> and we stayed there, and our motorbike was parked outside. And we are now in. 567 feet of water. That's incredible. So I started having a race with Brian and Helen on Hellacious. Uh, and if you can see it, it's, it's very far in the distance there. They're 0.6 miles away, so they're over half a mile away from us in the last hour. And uh, I can't catch them. They're doing six knots and we're doing five. <laughs> So um, we're going to have to try harder, I think. Oh well. close to the edge but it seems to drop in really really steeply we're at 100 feet 111 112 feet now and yeah you hit the castle with a stone from here uh oh dear go back around to where Navali says the anchorage is and just check that out there I think the wind's still going the wrong way yeah i'm just i'm just trolling around here and then just getting a bit of footage and then uh then we go back and join our friends over there i think 109 feet. There's a lot of people in there. Lots of people. 
people in there. There's a lady taking pictures of us. 88 feet. No, no. It is flat around here though. <coughs> uh, Ellen's just going to undo the, the bit of string that stops the anchor falling off the front so that we can just drop it when we get to where we're going but you know, we're, I literally could throw a stone on the beach here and we're in 80 feet of water um, really haven't got enough chain to, to do the job well we have but I don't think it'll be sensible Sing the hut song from uh, Islander, the, the Queen song, but it's the wrong cast. Might have to go there later. So about two lengths of the boat off the beach, and you're in a hundred feet of water. Um, <laughs> incredible. Which would mean that one sort of three hundred feet of chain out. Um, yeah, not overly keen at the moment. Still, nice cast. We're looking cool today. Formation of eighty. now at over 580 feet deep and uh, wouldn't take very long to get to the edge from here. Paddleboard that in five minutes. But it's uh, quite a drop down into the water I guess so I'm, I'm guessing that it continues at that sort of angle down in there. The waves are different here so because it's a inland piece of water they, they look different. You could almost swear that you, you could see a head poking out every now and again. But it's just the tops of the waves. I so want it to be true that there's uh, something weirder than me in Loch Ness at the moment.
so I just spoke to Hellacious and uh, they said they'd seen us go past but um, they are going to come down tomorrow about lunchtime and then stay overnight in the Port uh, and lock out the next morning because you can only get a lock in the morning because there aren't that many staff so then they kind of follow you all the next few locks um, but you're supposed to go the afternoon before in person to book your lock in so I don't know that we're going to be able to get in the locks from Doesn't anyway. matter. Doesn't matter. We have a day in Fort day Augustus and Augustus. have a look. Yeah, around. we can either come out. I mean, we can come out. And I mean, it's a terrible place, obviously. I mean, look at it. It's um, what a dump. Yeah. Well, we know. can come out and fish tomorrow. And... <laughs> oh, I don't know if we. I, I don't know what I'd be catching in the air. Well, the forecast is for mid, so it's quite difficult to get anything out. Yeah. Cool. Well, nearly there. So we just tried to go in over there because there's some boats moored and there's a whole stack of rocks right in the middle. There's, a, there's an island in the middle which you can see. So there's a whole stack of rocks which you couldn't until we got within 20 feet of them. At which point I shouted, back up, back up! Um, and you had to go in for a wee. <laughs> Boy, I think uh, that's... Go back about half an hour. <laughs> and, and I did the same sort of thing, only I stuck the boat on a, on a bit of uh, a sandbank or something. Which was unfortunate because it went sort of 50, 40, 30, and then 8. Went from about nearly 30 feet to 8 feet in a second. And then it wasn't eight feet anymore. I scraped it on the bottom. Oh well, an exciting day. Yes. It's been a hell of a day. <laughs> if I'm honest, we're going to have to talk quickly because the, the uh, thing's running out. Oh. Battery's running out. <laughs> so what happened uh, first was I ran us aground <laughs> from 50 foot to five feet, like that. And uh, we'd been all the way around Loch Ness trying to find somewhere to anchor up. And, and I settled on this spot, which said Anchorage on it, on the map, on the cartography. And um, yeah, I screwed that up really, pretty much. Bounced it along the bottom, managed to turn it and get it back out so it wasn't the end of the world, but I'm feeling a bit of a fool. And then Ellen did what? So. <laughs> Then we came down further, still trying to find an anchorage because we really wanted to anchor in Loch Ness overnight. It just would be amazing. But the wind is picking up and we saw these boats in this bay and it, uh, so we went and had a look, but they looked like they were on mooring boys. And uh, so I was slowing down and it suddenly went to 12 feet and I thought, oh, that could be good for anchoring. And then Frankie <laughs> suddenly went, go back. Um, and go backwards, back, go back, up, back, back up, back up, back <laughs> up. Um, and so I slammed it in reverse and then uh, the rudder kind of like got stuck and I've never experienced that before um, which happens apparently when you're going a lot of revs in reverse anyway we backed out of that um, and you can see then the waves probably about 12 feet away from the boat that were like you know above, there was mud above the water no it was rocks was it rocks? it was rocks big okay. big chunks of rock okay well I like with, to think and when I looked much. at it again there was a stick sticking out the top of them, <laughs> that there? was their marker for it. Oh, there was a stick. Anyway, we didn't see the stick, so we reversed. Um, and so we thought, well, we'll go to Port, Port Augustus pontoons. They might be a bit busy, so we'll see. But by now it was 20 knots blowing into this really narrow channel, and... <laughs> and uh, I had the second go of the day to... I was trying to come in straight downwind and onto the side, which is never a good idea. You want to be coming up into the wind if you can and control your speed and everything else. And um, I stuffed it and then I tried to turn it around and of course this thing goes backwards like, well it doesn't, it just doesn't go backwards. It's all right if you're doing five knots backwards, but if you just want to reverse out of somewhere, it's trying to turn you around in a circle. And the wind causes because the wind's blowing 20 knots straight down the channel. 
Uh, and I'm starting to think, well, the next thing up is that I'm going to go straight along the side with the pointy end of this boat all the way down through their windows, each one after the other. So there was a bit of um, interesting manoeuvring and I got it, I managed to get the nose around it, and it's not a very wide channel. Actually, I'll turn it around, you can see. That's the other side, right there, which is, uh, I don't know, maybe 30 feet away. And of course it goes down into, a, into the sea at an angle, so you haven't got <coughs> very much uh, space. And, uh, <coughs> sorry, bounced off the side pretty much. Uh, yeah. But we a didn't. couple of lovely people came along. Oh and helped us put some ropes on while we got the fenders sorted and that. So we're sitting here, it's fine now, but I think we're on, probably in, in uh, some commercial spot because it's got big bollards on the top. And that today <laughs> is a big bollards day. <laughs> well, we didn't have the boat rig to come in port side too. And so all the lines were on the wrong oh, yeah. side. And so I managed to get the bow line, lead it through the port side and over to somebody and they just backed around a bolt and held on to it. And then we bashed the side of the boat. So luckily we're, we're too tight in for us to be able to see if there's any damage. So we can just chill out this evening and assess it tomorrow. I think it's fine actually. I think it, it was just, it a, was just a bit of a well. clunk. It wasn't, it wasn't a yeah. smack. It wasn't a smack. It wasn't a proper smack. And so. it didn't scrape up and down. It just kind of went and sat there. The upside of being blown on with the wind is that it was just kind of held us there. And so we got some lines and people helped out and and we are and now, now having gin and tonic and I've got the, the, the them GoPro, gin and tonic. <laughs> GoPro sitting on top of a can of beer which I'm drinking simultaneously <laughs> and at the same time as a and, uh, gin and tonic. But we, we lost our friends um, as uh, they uh, the day started they, trying to anchor at three o'clock at Clark Castle and the wind was in the wrong direction and again it's like to get shallow enough to anchor you're so close to shore. 180 feet. 25. 20 feet and you could you could spit on the on, on the, the trees it it's, was that and we're still we're still this is only our second time trying to anchor right so it's yeah anyway we're so the, this boat, the, they'll yeah. anchor this boat yeah well it's only about my sixth time anchoring ever to be fair <laughs> so you know let's give it but um or, you know with me being in charge ish um so anyway we found an anchorage but we wanted to check somewhere else out and we gave them that anchorage and then we spent another <laughs> <laughs> three hours trying to find somewhere. Let's start with so, uh, again. I tell you what, I'm grumpy. I'm tired. I'm grumpy. I'm, tired, <laughs> I'm, grumpy mm -hmm. I'm hungry and I'm grumpy. Yeah, but you have GNT and a beer, and I'll make dinner. I'm second. not grumpy anymore. You're not grumpy. Actually, anymore. I never got grumpy. I, I think we we dealt with that incredibly well. Yeah, yeah. We're getting very good at dealing with the stressful situations because there are lots of them. If you're going to go cruising in a boat, you're going to have them. Doesn't matter how good you are. The, the, the American chap and his lady. Um, span us some stories about what they did wrong and you're gonna do it yeah. doesn't matter who you are and you can be as superior as you like and I'm pointing at you whoever you are who's gonna go oh well you should have done this well yeah we maybe we should have but it doesn't work that way when you're learning to yeah. do stuff <laughs> there's only so much that lessons can teach you yeah. and, and when the wind's not doing what it's supposed to be doing and everything else is against you and you're stuck in a small spot and your boat doesn't reverse Let's see how well you do it. But, uh, yeah, so, so just accept that things are going to go wrong when, if, if you're at that level. Because I know there's a lot of people that are watching us now that are at that point where they're buying a boat. They're going to go and have a go at it and go out and do it. And all I can say is just go and do it. Get some training. Make sure you know your boat and make sure you know what you're doing. That you can sail the damn thing and, and read a map. And then uh, and just go and do it. But um, Enjoy it. small steps. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's uh, Loch Ness has not disappointed. But it's been a gorgeous day. We've got sailing in. We were sailing at six knots at one point. Just you know, head sail up. Just with the head sail up. In Loch Ness, engine off. It's just been a really. It's been a really. It's a cool full place. day. It feels like we've packed two days into into a day. So tomorrow um, we'll probably just uh, chill out, move the boat onto a pontoon um, when the boats in the morning go up through the lock, and then. Um, uh, book us in for a lock in the next morning and chill out and have some more fun stories to tell to our mates tomorrow night. <laughs> Jeez, they're going to have a laugh at us tomorrow. They're going to have a laugh at us tomorrow. I hope, they, know, watch, everyone, I hope they watch this on YouTube. Everyone is so friendly because everyone who came and helped, they were like, we saw that it was busy, you can get in and we just, and they came up when we were like sideways on in the channel and he's like, just chuck me a line. <laughs> 
and they're just really nice because I think if so you've, if you've you're, done this, hang if on, there, sorry, sorry. <laughs> if you've done this long enough, you've had those moments yourself, and it's it's either there, but for the grace of God, go on, or you go, oh, we've done that, and you know, people are just friendly. Yeah, they are. Okay, and so, you. so sorry, I just wanted to <laughs> chuck in there before you got to the end of that. If you're one of those people that helped us tonight, oh, um, thank you. <laughs> yeah, come and give us a shout if, if you're ever down our way. We'll buy you a beer, or possibly three. Thank you very much. Well, that's all we got for the minute. Um, I just want to show you people. Can you just hold? I don't know how much more battery there is. Okay. Well, if, can, if, if it goes it go. dead, it goes dead. But here we go. This is the uh, this is the channel that we were sideways in. You can see it's not that big.